all of your favorite fighters are on this must-have DVD box set. Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, Matt Hughes, George St. Pierre, the Ultimate Fighter Season 4 champion Travis Luter, and more. This UFC box set makes a perfect gift for the holidays. No issues with the weight, 180 pounds on a scale. I could have weighted my clothes on, my wallet in my pocket, and my cell phone, and yeah. my shoes. No, no stranger to being a smaller fighter and never, not having to never. worry about this weight. This is actually a guy one five pounds difference. Yeah. And if you put up five more pounds for 10 pounds difference, to me, it's like an extra meal. Yeah. I fought my whole life guys over 230 pounds, you know, so it's... Yeah, and Frank's not a guy that's got to cut down from 195. He's, you yes. know, you know yes. he's right he's around there, too. Yeah, I think he's around 187, 188. Yeah. No. So, so what are the differences tomorrow night? Why, why are you going to walk out the ring in the winter? I train very hard, you know, like to tell you that I'm going to walk out as a winner. I don't know because, like you know, our business is a surprise box. It's like if there's one place that I wouldn't bet money is on MMA because you never know what's going to happen. You, know, you can be 100% sure someone's going to win. Next thing you see, he's laying down flat on the mat, you know, inside that cage. Right. So it's it's hard to make predictions, but I train very hard and I'm prepared for any situation that presents itself. And I definitely believe I can I can win. Yeah. As you train, though, there are certain things that you look for, you try and sharpen up maybe when you fight a certain opponent. What are the things that you worked on specifically? I work a lot on my stand-up, yeah. especially on my defense against getting hit and getting close. And mm -hmm. So it's it's going to be an interesting match. I can't wait to see how this will turn out. Yeah, You've been active, a lot of active lately, winning some fights. Frank hasn't been so active uh, in the last few years. You think that plays it all into the fight? I mean, you're the best fighter he's fought since uh, Tito Ortiz in 1999. Yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know if he plays on his head. It's all up to him. I see him nervous now and then, you know, without reason. It's it's like if you're afraid to take a shit, don't eat pasta on the day before, you know. That's the reality. So I'm, I'm very comfortable. Like, I try, actually, to me, it's harder to train than actually to fight. I suffer much more on an everyday basis than I'm going to suffer in that ring. Yeah. So it's no, nothing new at all. Yeah. He's talked about that uh, he's always wanted to fight the Gracies, and he's always wanted to fight you since UFC 1 when he saw Hoist beat Ken. Um, did you have any feelings of fighting the Shamrocks? Was, did you feel that sort of rivalry, or no, was that not? not no, I never uh, had no, no bad feelings towards him. I never yeah. thought about it. And I'm glad that he... He sees me as an opponent and, and a worth opponent to, to face in the ring, yeah. you know, just thanks for the compliment. Yeah, leading up to the fight, he said a lot of things about, you know, the Gracie family that you're, you're really the only one that he respects. I mean, so he's basically disrespecting the rest of your family. Yeah. <laughs> Did you take it that way? No, I think sometimes he doesn't measure his words. I don't think he really thinks that way or he doesn't mean that. Yeah. It's just that sometimes uh, he confuses his, his butt with his mouth, so a lot of crap comes out. But it's he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's a sweet guy. And, and definitely a very tough opponent, and I can't wait to measure myself against him. And I'm very glad he accepted the challenge, and, and he's been living up to and, yeah. and pushing me forward to do it. Was, was there any concern on your end? There's a lot of talk whether he would fight or not. There was a lot of contractual issues. Did, you, did that no, bug you at all? No, it didn't bug me at all. I wasn't worried. I knew that in the end they would come out in terms and mm -hmm. the fight would happen. So I'm very glad everything turns out all right, and here we are. You've, you've fought in a lot of big stages and a lot of big fights in your career. Showtime, uh, you know, for North America, it's mixed martial arts is exploding. Where does this rank in terms of what you've done in your career? I think it's it's, it's coming to the top of the mountain. Like it's it's unbelievable to see such an organization organizing this new MMA event. You know, it's a it's a chance to level us with boxing. And for sure, I think our sport our sport is ten times better than boxing. It's just a matter of time before we overcome that. So all we need was mainstream. Televisions like Showtime showing up and, and helping us to put us in our place. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Nice to be here with you guys.